Yes. Is that is that the tenth best Ike? Oh Mega? my god. <laughs> best Ike on the on the earth. <laughs> well, the only thing I can. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So uh, oh, I actually. Uh, I, I have a lot of experience playing, uh, you know, against Mega. Me and him both went to NYU back in the day. Yes. And he is, uh, been, uh, from what I understand, really tearing it up during these um, days, days uh, with Xeno Wi-Fi. So, oh, okay. But this is an interesting matchup. So what are your thoughts on this match, Eminos? Because these are two sword characters, but two sword characters with very different archetypes and game plans. Um... I feel like I could be able to jump more and get his swings in, get their confirms better, get kills better. Uh, X has to like plan a lot more tippers like that. Oh, the uh, the landing, the forward smash kill. Yeah, so, now I, know, I'm, I'm, I think I'm just gonna. Despite, I will say so. Both these characters are you know fire emblem sorties, but their frame data oh. is where that big difference in how they operate comes in. If you notice a lot of the time, you know, uh, X, I'm sorry, who's the Marth player? It's X, X, yeah. Oh, that's X, okay, I wasn't. All right, so if you notice X is, he's using, he's trying to get up close and using those very quick moves of his, the forward airs, the side Bs, to interrupt Mega before he can oh. throw out his, to be frank, longer, you know, the they hit harder, but they take longer to come out. And it's right there, Oh. we the see shield. the hit harder aspect. Yeah. Sorry about that, I just nicked a little bit. But yeah. <laughs> like, theoretically, Ike would probably do us like, a little better in terms of killing. If the Marvel yeah. is spacing right. Well, but, he would do know. better with killing if you don't take edge guards as a factor, because I feel yes. like Marth would have a very easy time dealing with Ike off stage. Already, his options are relatively limited, and the fact that Marth has a counter at all probably means that there are a lot of situations where if you're Ike and you're in a bad spot, you're just dead. Yeah, Ike's doing a good job staying grounded and anti-airing while blocking these approaches. Could have had a punish there. I think maybe he thought the cross-up was happening, and that's why he tried to uh, go for the reverse grab. So in that case, it was actually really good spacing on Mega's part. Oh, but good spacing, <laughs> that's, that's really what he needs to be doing even more of right now. He's managed to do about 66%, and technically speaking, that's... Oh, okay. Oh. I love the stutter, the bit of a I really thought there. that was going to kill. <laughs> I thought so, too. I, I think if he had gotten the total tipper there, I don't think that was the tipper on the final side B hit. Yeah, probably like the most well, sour squadish. Um, so confirmed from Mega. Yeah, so, I will say Mega's recovery. Yeah, Mega's recoveries overall have been really good, but the issue seems to be that in neutral, those quicker, faster hits that X has oh. access to, and he just runs up, gets tipper down smash. That's a two stock in game one. So, one thing I'm learning as I'm watching this match, which I've, it's like probably like the first time I've seen this matchup in this game. Um, X is doing a really good job of staying grounded and not really getting hit by these jump-ins that, that Mega would go for. As like, the jump-ins are kind of the, the bread and butter here. They, that's what uh, Ike would go for as they, as they try to get the damage with a, a Nair or something. Get a little Nair train. Like, go off a hit, read something, get another Nair into like an up air or something. Oh, did you see the spacing on that? Yeah. That was immaculate. That was like pixels away from actually, you know, being able to uh, thread the needle, you know? This little anti-air was nice. Little, little yeah, and beat. once again, we see how this smash. quick Woo. frame. Oh! <laughs> wow! <laughs> that looks very clean by X right there. X is very good at landing and stuff like that. Yeah, so now it's the question is like, what adjustments does Mega need to make? I think that maybe he's trying to, so first of all, picking a different stage, gonna be PS2 this time around. And, uh, all right, that, that was, I was gonna say, dealing with the grounded, um, a, you know, general play style that X has is gonna be paramount and immediately opens with a tomahawk grab. So calling yeah. out the fact that he's going to be grounded. And, oh, yeah, Mega, very smart player, really good at adaptation. Yeah. So, oh, and if uh, X is, not, I'm not sure if these two have ever played before, so 
X is sort of going to try and rely on how he was playing in that game one, it's probably not going to be enough. He needs to continuously adapt to, uh, you know, Mega's own counterplay. Yeah. We're seeing a lot more throws in this uh, in this match as both players are starting to realize, like, okay. Okay, Mega realizes first, like, since X is playing a little more grounded, I guess I can just throw him. Throw, throws instead of just swinging at him. As he's able to, like, counterplay my jump-ins. But at the same time, X is not going to give him that throw. Like, Alright, so he's going to start throwing me now, right? Yeah, as I'll we saw also, an, <laughs> yeah, Throw X is also doing a really good job of throwing out these quick, you know, challenging those Ike aerials, which normally it's very hard for characters to challenge Ike aerials, but yeah. Mark, but the way he kind of shifts his frame during moves and the fact that he has amazing range himself, and you see speed. that he's, yeah, continuously being able to uh, Ooh, nice. catch his landings. That neutral B is a very good tool to stop that, uh, oh, Ike's neutral B off the ledge. Oh my god, I refresh it. Okay. Alright, both of these guys are in the red, but Mega has an entire Action, please. full stock deficit <laughs> at this point. He's playing at the edge right now. It's actually, uh, it's looking pretty, pretty dire for him at the moment. X just has felt like he's been in control this entire time. And look at, he's throwing out these moves, not quite getting the tipper there, but still able to continuously do all of this damage and keep Mega on the back foot continuously. All right. Mega finally cleaning off that first stock, but and just like that, he's down and once again down by an entire life. And he already lost game one. X is in the driver's seat, and it seems like with just <laughs> look at that single hit that he managed to do 32%, put him in a juggle situation, and Mega, even when he gets a parry, isn't able to capitalize off that much. Oh man, now these guys, now these two are just swinging at each other. <laughs> Yeah, Mega having a really tough time just to try to get in on X. That was a great read on the spot dodge. Going for that neutral considering it lasts so long. Yeah. Mega now starting to come alive, but he's already suffered so much through the last, oh. the middle of this game in particular. But if he's able to take a stock very soon, right about now, he absolutely could stay in it. But he's not able to do that. If he's not able to make that big turnaround, then that's just going to be a 2-0 for X. That's definitely what he's looking for here. Starting to throw out even more of these moves while uh, Mega's trapped at the ledge. Yeah. X is looking for that uh, that tipper forward tilt to end the stock right there. Yeah. Trying to find the, the gap right there just to see if they can land it. Patience I like the fact. X. Oh, yeah, no, that was that was great patience. Realizing that he I, he wasn't comfortable approaching anymore. He was like, okay, all of a sudden, whenever I'm like going in on oh, you, I'm oh, getting oh. kind of hit. <laughs> that was a and deer stuff in a like that ends up happening as a result. Mega yeah. taking the stock with the second hit of the ether. Right, X doesn't really have to do much. They don't right. have to. They don't have to rush it. They don't have to rush it. Getting grabbed by Marth is one of those, like... His, on the one hand, his grabs themselves, you know, they don't do much damage. Uh, you know, they don't usually threaten the kill outright. Oh, Whoa, what? what? Some, something just... Wires crisscross. X did not capitalize on that uh, that misplay. And all of a sudden, Mega oh, now has bad. stage control. So oh, bad. he's looking really scary. Okay, okay. If he managed okay. to intercept that jump, it would have been huge. The but now they're basically okay. back to neutral. So run up a B? Oh, there you go. There taking the stock, yeah. taking the set. X, with patience, takes it. I live to fight again. Yes, he does. Yeah, yeah. At the <laughs> end there, it was, look, it was looking pretty scary for him. Oh, but, uh, man. Wow. Marth just yeah. makes me want to play that stupid soundtrack. <laughs> He's just amazed that he... <laughs> no. I mean, because it, it, like, of, like, the... the oh, the... man. He's the I most... don't know, like, whenever you play Marth... What were you gonna say? He's just the most anime boy in in the game. He's just the OG anime boy in Smash. So he's just like. <laughs> no, Donkey Kong's the OG anime boy. Yeah, this is true. <laughs> <laughs> but Donkey Kong is like OG anime, as in like you know back when anime was like 
you know, weird gorilla men that would fight Cheetos. Yeah. Like that kind of OTA. Am I good? Am I consistent now? Because it keeps, like, disconnecting me <laughs> for maybe, some reason. Uh, maybe redo, uh, I just, I just, unplug, yeah, and replug? Re I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I, yeah, it was weird. Like, all right. So, yeah, that set was uh, quite eye-opening to see the, the tools that Marv has to deal with characters like Ike with his jump and hit buttons. 